to recognize me. And as you can see, I didn't have to type in my password. It simply recognizes me and lets me into the system. Yeah, well, that was pretty quick, pretty fantastic. The simplest demos are sometimes the hardest, especially when they work. But hey, I've, I've seen this before, right? You can run a video, you can show a picture of somebody, and this gets spoofed, right? Well, what are we doing different with the camera technology right. and our relationship with our sensible vision? So the face login has been in academic research for decades now, and we have also seen some products that didn't work very well. Uh, our solution with sensible vision is very robust. We use advanced image processing to incorporate and place spoofing features that do not you know, let you into uh, the system with your photos and videos. So how many points on the face are we looking at? We have multiple points and, and faces and intermuscular movements, advanced technologies that we have built into the product. Right, so we're looking at you know, probably seven different points on the face. We're looking at multi-muscular movements. And then we can actually add multi-modal capabilities, which would be the combination of logging in maybe with voice and with facial recognition. That is but this is something that is shipping today. Uh, again, with Dell starting out, but this is going to go pretty ubiquitous across the world, we think. Uh, real robust, simple password technology, given most of us don't even put a password uh, on our device. Across systems and customers will see Okay. That. okay. Well, uh, let's move on to gesture. What do yes. you do on gesture? So, it is not just about uh, 2D camera and facial fish, login, but at the Intel Developer Forum a uh, few months ago, we announced a perceptual computing software development kit, and this lightweight, single USB power, small form factor 3D camera device that has close range gesture interactions, face recognition, voice recognition, and 3D object tracking capabilities built in. So this kind of thing used to be something that you'd have to plug into an AC power adapter in your wall. We're now, for the software development kit, plugging into a USB stick, and this will be available through retail as a low cost peripheral this year, in addition to what we're already using for the last about four months with our software developers uh, in a relationship we have with Creative as yes. well. Yeah. And we have seen thousands of uh, developers download the SDK and starting to develop really interactive applications based on it. So we've made a lot of progress getting the software development community from an AC power adapter to a USB you know, power. But of course, uh, we all remember these sitting on our desktops a long time ago around our monitors, right? Uh, Rest assured, Intel is working to integrate this directly into all-in-one computers and Ultrabooks uh, in the future as well. And, and we'll, uh, we'll come back to you with when exactly that happens. So what can we do with this camera technology? Before I show a demo, I'd like to point out that two-dimensional interfaces, like Kat mentioned, mouse and touch, confine the users to the, you know, the plane of the display. But when you have 3D computer vision and 3D camera, it allows you to interact with the system because it, it, it can understand 10 finger fine grain articulation of your fingers in the three dimensional space. And when you have that technology, you so can- We've seen some of these before, and it kind of, the hand looks like a nub, and it all looks like one point. What we're talking about here is, with our software development kit, the ability to actually see every single one of your 10 fingers yes. and what they're doing in three dimensional space. Minutes. So we could open doors in a game, close doors, and right. anything our fingers would do. Yeah, and let me show you a demo of that. Okay. So, you know, this, I'm going to go inside the, application here, immerse myself, and as you can see, the system understands the fine fingers movements, and I can really interact with the objects in the screen, let the coins you know, accumulate on my finger, I throw them away. This level of interactions in the three-dimensional space is not possible with mouse, keyboard, or you know, 2D cameras. And this is really after about 90 to 120 days of coding following the software development kit release that our developer form. Yes. Okay. Great. What else can we show? So, you know, I'd like to show Portal 2. Our partners at uh, Sixth Sense uh, has enabled Portal 2 to be played with hand gestures. For those of you who have played Portal 2, it's a very popular game, of course. And, you know, you need to go in and uh, with a uh, Portal gun, you manipulate your uh, cube. Here, I'm moving this into the three dimensional space. To do this with uh, keyboard and the mouse, you wish you had 20 fingers. <laughs> and I'm taking it inside the system. I align it on the pedestal. And very simply, I drop it. So, you know, I, I can go on hours playing this game. Uh, this is something that typically maybe had a multi hundred dollar controller, and with games like Portal 2, we could use not just the gesture, but voice as well and be able to interact 
while we're manipulating the object, maybe use voice to say Even voice recognition for fine control, and it's immersing yourself into the content, finally. Okay, well, that gaming is like, interesting. It's a big segment right. for us, of course, and, and so that's interesting. What else so it's can we do with this kind of technology? So it's not just about uh, interacting with 3D and uh, playing games, but with 3D computer vision technology, we can transform the, uh, the way people communicate with each other with video. So we can make video conferencing immersive. Here you're showing, I'm showing an example. I have my friend Diane over there. Um, you know, she, I'm trying to have a uh, chat with her to decide what movie to rent. And this is what you see when you do that with a traditional video conference. Uh, I can see the objects that we want to talk about at the back, but significant part of the screen is also blocked by the background. We have the technology for recognizing 3D around us, so we could take that away. So Diana, why don't you take your background away, please? So that is the beauty of 3D camera and 3D computer vision technology. And now we don't have to be cluttered by the background. Imagine yourself into the content. It's not just about immersive video conferencing, but also video blogging with green screen, where you can create content with yourself in the, in the content. Yeah, so all of you are going to have more competition because we'll have more video bloggers with that uh, screen behind them trying to, to uh, report the news, I guess, right? Right. <laughs> and, okay. And also, and uh, one thing I'd like to mention before we uh, move out of the SDK is we have rolled, finally rolled out the million dollar developer contest. Uh, you know, the uh, details are on the interview side and we're seeing a lot of traction on, on developers that are coming up with really ground breaking ideas that are being put back right now. All right, one more maybe. Um, what, what can we do so now? So we're not uh, stopping at uh, gesture recognition. Uh, imagine the computer being able to track your eyes. And uh, with our partner, Toby, uh, we are working on technology to track your eyes. Here, you know, I have one of the most popular games with the kids in the US. When you see it, it's Wendy's Walter. And in the next screen, I'll, I have the task of finding Walter. And the way I'm doing that right now, you can see my eye on the screen of Philip. I'm trying to find Walter. And Walter, there you are. Don't hide. So you can see I can find Walter simply by moving my eyes. Okay, I see Walter on the left side here. There he is. So Im imagine immersive, intuitive gaming and fun content that is enabled simply by tracking where you're looking on the screen. So that's fantastic, uh, that's fantastic news. So here's what we showed you guys. Perceptual computing coming to computing in 2013. Voice in nine languages across 27 countries is coming from Nuance with full Facebook, Twitter integration, etc. We talked about gesture and full 10 finger, not just basic page turning or basic ge uh, gesture recognition, but full 10 finger articulation to our software development kits. Uh, eye tracking capability, uh, as well as touch being required on the Ultrabook. So fantastic job, Achin, uh, from you and your team. And stay tuned for innovations in this space. Thank you.